Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Chip. Uh, got a new video here. Talk a little about the, this uh, Moi 3D Tutorial Widget Kit Bash. So, many of you may be familiar with what a kit bash is, but kit bash are basically different items, little clip art kind of 3D clip art items that you can cut and paste more or less and drop into objects. And so, this really works best with solids. So, I, uh, I like everything to be solids when I start to, to build this. So, Let's get started. So, uh, uh, if you haven't seen my uh, offsets solids tutorial, then you'll you'll see that it's uh, uh, that's how this was created. So, there's three solids here, um, uh, and we're going to actually uh, start using this, this great object library by Max Murdoff. Go look on on the Moe forums for it. It's very cool. So, what we'll do is we're going to use this. To actually, as our kit bash, and we're going to drag it and put things, just drag things directly out of it, and it'll automatically align to whatever service we're using. So here we have uh, a micro display. Every every kit bash item that I have has the name. So you look in the object; it's a micro display. You can select it uh, and move it down. Here we have it moved down. It's, it came in perfectly scaled and perfectly registered for what we want to do. So I'm not going to scale it. Um, uh, but down in the styles, you'll see that I have a subtract and a widget style, and those are used for selections. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hide everything, take this base solid, okay, here's the base solid right there, and I'm going to Boolean difference it, and I'm going to use that subtract right there, and I'm going to select the sub subtract parts, and I'm going to uh, say done, and then I hit delete key, which gets rid of that little yellow uh, curve right there, and then I select everything. And turn and set the style to default. So that basically cut a hole in there for me, and then placed that little uh, micro display in there. So I can still uh, uh, see that the, uh, the micro display is there, um, and it works great. So let's uh, let's get into a little more detail, and understand how this works. Uh, we're going to go again into Max Bernoff's wonderful object library, and here we're going to grab this switch basic. And it comes in, this one comes in at the wrong scale. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to line it up here so I get the right orientation. And then I'm going to basically take it and uh, uh, move it out. So I'll select the switch basic, hit the move uh, command, and just move it out so I can scale it. So I'm gonna, from here, I'll just drag one of these corners. And as I drag it, I hold the command key down. Oops, don't let it flip. Hold the command key down, and it allows me to scale it in all directions at once really nicely. So, again, the command key keys are from stretching. So it forces it into, into uh, uniform scaling. So now that I've got this done, I'm going to go ahead and I need to line up this little yellow curve, the little re registration curve, with the front. So let's take a look at this a little more closely. Here's the front edge right here. Let's see right there. That's the front edge that I want to line that up with. And there's the registration curve. So let's take a look at those two things, and we'll look at it from the uh, uh, top view. There we are. And all I need to do is select all of this, select the whole button, and then hit the move command. And we'll just select any one, any point along this curve, and drag it on back to that surface that we we know that we need to line it up to. It's right there. So now we've got that done. We've got the key. We've got the uh, button lined up, and I can just literally I can just click on it and drag it wherever I want to. Just you know, I've got it lined up. Make sure that it goes straight up. But yeah, just uh, and I could uh, work it now. But first, let's go ahead and and do an offset uh, or uh, 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 an array, a directional array, so that we can just get a few more in here. Now, the question is, how do I, I want to mirror those two on the right to the left? How do I select those? So the way I do it. And I select all of them, isolate them, deselect them. Uh, oops, not that one. The other two. Select these two. And now I'll do execute a mirror command. Choose my axis to mirror them on. There we go. Back out, out of the isolation. Okay, so let's, let's look at what, what that's going to cut out. So if you look over here on the styles menu, you see I have subtract and widget. So I'm going to hide the widget. That shows you the subtract. Let's go ahead and select the surface. And, Ghosted a little bit for a second, so that's the object. That's everything's going to get subtracted right there. So those are the little subtract volumes. So now I'll go ahead. Here's the widget shows. I'm going to 
Actually, I'll turn it off so you can see what happens when we subtract it. So let's do a Boolean difference on the main part. Let's select what we want a difference by clicking right there next to subtract, hit right, right turn, hit the delete button to get rid of the curves. And that is, that's it right there. So I've changed all the surfaces default. Turn on the widgets, there's the widgets around there. Let's select all those, set those surfaces to default too. I can still select those buttons with the uh, objects uh, display or objects menu up above on the left. So, so there we have it. So let's uh, speed things up a little bit. I um, mean, uh, work a little quicker. Uh, next, we're going to use, let's see, a uh, uh, a rivet, uh, the hex rivet, and it comes in again at a much much larger scale than what we typically would want. So we line it up on the right orientation. Select it again, and uh, there it is, select it, and now we want to scale it down. So we'll basically uh, move it out, and then again, grab that little that little control, and we'll hit the, hold the control key, or command key down, and it'll go much smaller. There you go. So now we've got it. Now we just need to align it with that surface. We'll just use the move key to do that. And now let's go uh, into the front view here, and let's just drag it wherever we want it, you know, we'll hold the control key down and drag, and we drag off a copy. Again, I want to be able to select the, the right one, so I'll select all of them, isolate, just select that, unisolate, hold the control key down, drag down, and there's our rivet. Okay, now I want to move the two rights on the right a little farther out again. Same thing, move them out, there. So now I've got them where I want them. Okay, so let's go in, uh, we'll take a look at these a little closer. Again, uh, let's uh, uh, let's go in and ghost our main surface. This is these are negative. These are subtraction boolean parts. They have a little ledge on them for a little chamfer. And uh, these are our these are the positive pieces, which are called the widgets. Uh, that's the widget, and you'll see they're little hex rivets. So once these things are done, uh, we'll again do the standard boolean. That we did before and select them and uh, and set all the styles to default. So let's uh, again we're going to do this with a, a latch. Um, uh, we need to take a latch and scale it down. And notice when we scale it now, it's being hidden, and that's because that's because we didn't move it off of the surface. So we we need to, typically is a good idea to move it off the surface first. Let's take them and let's just drag that little. Let's resize it where we want it, and then we're going to rotate it by using this that little rotate handle. Uh, there we go, 90 degrees, and let's go in now and again line it up, align it, and move it around. Just click and drag to move it. If you hold the command key down when you click and drag, you're not going to you're, you're going to bypass all the snaps. Okay, once again, uh, I'm going to show you uh, what we're what we've got there. There's a subtraction volume. With a little lip on it, and this is the widget volume. Okay, and we'll turn them both on, turn everything back on, and select the object Boolean, select the subtract, return, delete to get rid of the curve, and then select everything and set it to default. So, pretty good. So, uh, now uh, we're going to speed up even faster to finish up this. Uh, process, although there's a couple things I will slow down to show you what's going on. Here's a vent, uh, kind of a hex vent, uh, and uh, again, scale it way down, zoom way up, you know, uh, align it. Here we're lining it off the edge, makes it easy, and then we just click and drag it any way we want to. Shift V gives me a mirror, I mirror the object, Boolean difference it. Delete it, set all the colors. So there, there's you can see there's our our nice surface or our nice uh, vent vent pattern that we have. Okay, next we'll go in and let's see. We'll grab a uh, uh, the Moe logo. So this is not a standard version. I'm gonna have to kind of fool around with this a little bit. I gotta get rid of the curves and rescale it or something. So this is not the standard. It's not the the standard logo either. So uh, but I'm gonna move it up and cut it out. There we go. And that's pretty simple to boolean subtract it. Logo's done. 
Okay, let's go get uh, a couple of these little blivets. I call them small blivets. That's really large, so let's make it smaller. Yeah, there we go. And as you see, uh, once we get it lined up, we can mirror them, and it's fairly simple. The, the workflow actually gets to be pretty easy once you get the hang of it. Something that uh, that uh, you'll find that uh, that it makes it a lot easier. Notice this one, I'm actually using it to, I'm, I'm using Max's tool to rotate it before I let it down, before I let go of the tool. So I've got it all rotated. This is another latch. I'm going to basically take this latch. And the kind of cool thing about this latch is that I've got two surfaces I've got to go through. So when I, when I boolean and subtract it, I'm going to basically keep the objects the first time. So I basically, there's the, there, there's the, so I, I didn't delete them after I boolean and subtracted it. Now I'm going to go get to the other surface, this surface, and I'm going to boolean and subtract again, but this time I don't keep the objects and now I've got everything there, so pretty cool. Um, and uh, now I'm going to go ahead and add uh, the same, those little blivets again, but uh, what I'm going to find out in here when I start doing this is when I boolean and subtract these, which is a pretty straightforward and easy thing to do, I actually have, uh, I want to keep them uh, because I have to cut through some different parts, but I now I, I find that I'm, I'm going to have a I've got some problems here, and the reason why I have these problems is because I really didn't hide all the part the parts that I was working with, and it turns out I had uh, as I look through this I had a uh, uh, I had this red problem up on the top latch. I never forgot to turn that that surface to the default surface, so. If I go in now and I select everything, or, or select uh, those things, then uh, or and hide that, then I can go ahead and do a, a, a boolean difference. It'll it will work, uh, and then I'll show everything. I'll show everything, and I'll get that uh, uh, that red part uh, turned the, the, the subtract style turned to white. So watch, I'll show everything. We'll see that we still have. Uh, uh, let's see. There it is. See yeah, the red one on the top right on the latch. We'll select all that, and then we'll set the style to false. So now we're good. So that fixed that. So I typically like to isolate just because I don't end up confusing myself sometimes, like I just did then. Um, okay, so we're, we're move quickly again through through this. Here's a fan. Uh, the fan's uh, interesting because it's got a lot of different. Uh, fan blades and, and it's kind of a more detailed model but it still works pretty good again as I mentioned to you you know it's uh, needs to be needs to be lined up correctly and once it's lined up I can just drag it in fact I want to drag it and line it up here so I'll just drag a construction line out snap it over there that's good okay so let's go ahead and take these things isolate them and then uh, boolean, boolean subtract Actually, you can see that's look at how, how complex that fan is. There's two different fan blades in the motor, and there's the there's the the negative volume. So, so we'll go ahead and select the object and subtract it, and uh, and then turn everything to default. So there, uh, we're just about complete now. Um, let's put a uh, we're going to put a power port in the back. So I'll click here, align it where we want it. And once we've aligned it, uh, again, we're going to want to, uh, so, uh, we've actually got two surfaces here. So we're going to, we're going to, uh, rescale this, but then we're going to need to Boolean it through both surfaces, uh, one at a time. So, um, so here we go, we'll line this up in the middle and now you might wonder why I don't just balloon through both surfaces at the same time. Sometimes things get kind of wonky when you try and do that, so I typically try and do it one at a time. So here I'm balloon it through here. I'm going to save it my save my volume. So my uh, keep my keep my objects, and there it's balloon through. And uh, uh, as then I'm going to show show the uh, other surface. So this is the second surface. And now I'm not going to keep the objects, and I'll boolean through again. And now I show everything. There you go, and everything works. So that's pretty much it. That's the uh, that's the model. That's the I'll 
put a link up to on my website or on, uh, on the forums on where you can get these files if you want to play around with it. And uh, of course, Max's wonderful uh, tool is you know his object library is, is the key there. So anyway, thanks for watching. See you. Bye.